All right, guys, this exercise is coming uh, straight out of the NASM book. Uh, if you guys remember when I was talking about inner balance, this is one of the exercises for chest. Because the problem with uh, using the, the bench and the Smith machine, and it's that they're all very isometric machines means you can only go up and down you know and the human body doesn't work like that the human body has a full range of movements everywhere and that's why we have to study a lot on the science of human movement because it's not just up and down back and forth when you go pick up a water bottle you're not like a machine you know front back and then up it's however the hell you want to move your arm, if you want to go around something, if you want to shake the bottle, mix it. That's why this exercise is very important um, for those who want to follow it. You don't have to. I mean, this is mostly to gain a lot, a lot of core strength and inner balance. Once you have that balance and that core strength, after uh, three to four weeks of, of substituting this for your chest workouts and then you hit that chest workout you're gonna be like wow like this barbells are this this barbell is very easy to maneuver now plus you'll be hitting um all points of your of your chest now before attempting this exercise um you should go lightweight um, normally I can do 120 dumbbell, um, 120 pounds for dumbbells, but that wasn't the case here. <laughs> I had no stability. I had to use a lot of my core strength. You have to keep your butt on top, kind of like uh, your ear, your shoulder, your hips, and your knees in a straight line, like you see here. Um, remember, remember to keep drinking water. You don't want to be dehydrated during these uh, exercises. Well, during any exercises. Plus, in the book, it says drinking 9 to 14 cups of water a day should be normal. And that helps you lose fat. Drinking a little bit more um, for the more active. I've been reading about also how to stay lean, how to lose fat, how to, how to, how to measure the amount of calories you should be eating you should be consuming and a tip is that calories you can't eat calories calories is a way of measuring the energy that you eat from food I didn't know that before I read the book calories is just the name kinda like length height weight you know you can't eat weight you can't eat length or maybe you can't eat length but you 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 just calorie is not tangible so calories just the measurement to eat energy and there's a whole equation to that but I won't get into that now in this exercise I tried staying um, from 8 reps to 12 reps with lightweight I didn't want to go too heavy if you see here I am not stable at all this was my first time trying this exercise but it is very helpful I've talked to other personal trainers at the gym just to make sure that I was reading the book right, just to make sure that I was doing it right. And uh, I went too heavy here. What was this, 85? Yeah, I should have stood with 65s or 75s. Now, this exercise here shows well why those other machines are very isometric and this is not. Over here, when a personal trainer wants to train someone, they want to teach someone the human movement first. They want to let the body continue doing what they do daily so they could be stronger at it. You know, moving all around. It's not just to build muscle. It's not just to build muscle fibers, but it's to build that balance that we all need throughout our day. This movement right here, we do it all the time when, when we're picking up something, when we're closing the door. And... The balance, you like, don't let your head come up. You should also rest it on there because you don't want to put force 
on your neck while you're doing this. So, um, anyways, guys, if you're gonna try this, remember go lightweight, feel it first. This is the first exercise before attempting a heavy chest workout to attain inner balance. This is basically all this exercise is for.